Is this the game? <laughs> let's unmute. All right. Oh, let's plug in. So we are working our way now through the Gelmir Hero's Grave. I don't know what that entails. I don't know what that means, my darling little jelly beans. But we sort of got to this point on the Sea of the Water Terminus where there appeared to be like a location here. Could we go right? Could we go left? We just kind of incidentally went left and it looks like we are spiraling rapidly towards the Volcano Manor. Now this is not any catacomb, this is a hero's grave. My understanding of hero's graves is that these this is the This is the catacomb plus plus. Oh yeah. Now how much damage does this deal? Alright, kind of a kind of a solid little amount. So if I understand Miyazaki correctly, there's going to be a giant monster rolling at me. Oh, fuck. There it is. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Oh! <laughs> now that's how you do it, baby. Hold the shield. Heal up. Hold the shield. Oh! Oh! Dude, I'm robust. <laughs> All right, sick. All right. Didn't see anything over there? I mean, Funeral. Hey, Sheriff. Come here. You jerk. Oh. Oh. Oh, and I love it. It just ends. It just fucking ends. Why not? Ah! Alright, so, so... Oh, Cheryl! Whoa! Hiya! Ow! Ah! Uh-oh. Not a spoiler mechanic. Oh, totally. It's uh, Chaucer. It's not that it's a spoiler. It's that it's backseating. We don't want backseating. We don't want spoiling and saying, hey, I'm pretty sure this mechanic is not a XYZ thing. If you are if you feel like you're trying to justify that it isn't, it probably is. And, and the thing is that, like, the point, Chaucer, is not to try to make you feel bad. It's not to try to make anyone feel called out or dunked on or anything like that. It is It is to protect my little baby experience going through this game. I now understand why it took so fucking long. Ah! Drink! Ah! Uh, 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 is it gonna fucking come down all the way? Oh, it isn't. Fuck yeah. Oh yeah, we got some glove war. Let's go. Alright, hey, look, there's stuff down here. Ah! 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 Um. 
I'm so big. I'm such a big boy. Oh, I'm fucking so fucking big. Excellent. There's a chest. There's a chest. There's suspicious surroundings all around me. Ring finger! So if you don't mind uh, the Chaucer, if you don't mind, I, I, I like to just, uh, you know, I like to suffer. There it is. I'm, I'm, I'm a suffering boy. Uh, okay, so, so what is that thing that we got? I think it was a weapon. It is a weapon. What? Really? And it's a hammer, you say? Oh my god. What? Claw flick? What? What? What is that? I'm gonna go back to my Ruins Greatsword. I think this might be a good dungeon to equip this. Okay. Okay. Let's go all the way back down there and get that fucking, get that stuff. Let's go all the way down there. Let's go all the way down there. All right. Falling up. Oh, uh, we got a bada boom. Ah, uh, oh shit. Ah, ah. All right. I don't know what the fuck is up with Sheriff Lane. She has just been a little Meowsaurus Rex. You want attention, my darling? You know I sit right here all day. You can come to me. Shit, I live. You can like hide right here. Not that it's good. Look at this. All right, stop looking. Sheriff, stop fucking meowing. Get up. Get the fuck out of there. Get. Ah, fuck. I think I'm actually like safe here. Huh. Uh. Get. Get the fuck. Ah. Uh. Ah! 
Anyone know how many souls I left down there? Yes, excellent. Very good. Alright, there we go. Doop. Okay. Doop. Perfect. Mamma mia. Oh, hi, Sheriff. What's this way, huh? Come on in. Come on in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at this ideal, ideal baby cat. I mean, we have not yet explored the full extent of this area. Oh, are we just, like, at the boss? All right. Well, I think I know how we're going to go through this. All right. Oh yeah, look look at all the amazement. Look at all the amazement that you're experiencing. Oh yes. Oh my princess, yes. Alright, cool. Yeah. Oh. Come on up. Oh, okay. Ow. Oh, owie. Owie zowie wowie. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I love you too. Yeah. Love you a great deal. This is my business partner. This is Sheriff the Cat. All right, so let's let's get some let's get some positive vibes from our little baby. Also, I accidentally have this window here, and it's been here all day. My, my apologies. All right. You know, I may as well do this. Yeah, no, tell me, tell me. I did not. I did not know that. All right, let's put this in here. Red Wolf! My cat's purring. She's loving it. We're all loving it. All right. Death through uh, sugar, water, or all right. Let's, let's go. All, let's go all the way to the entrance. Let's go all the way to the entrance. Look at this cat. Look at this little baby. Look at this. Look at this little baby. I'm sure, there's some more. Uh, some more goods here. So I'm just gonna go back on down. Here it comes. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, look at her. She's getting tired. She's getting tired. What do you think about this? You know, I don't actually know if when you teleport back, it resuscitates the monsters. 
I'm pretty sure it does when you use the teleport. Ow, is our moment done? Let's see if the little skelly babies come out. What up, skelly babies? And by the way, uh, Lejean, I know that, um... Whoops. Did it again. I know that I was about to find the answer out on my own, but I am always speaking rhetorically unless I say, hey, someone tell me. Someone in all of chat, I'm looking for an answer right now. I'm always speaking rhetorically. Always, always, always. As a professional broadcaster, I have to sort of share the curiosities and questions that are going on in my mind. But just because I'm sharing them doesn't mean that I want people to step in and try to take my fun away by answering it for me. Uh. Uh. And also, I want to give a shout out to our amazing mod team here. Fan of Ares and uh, Ghost Stalker in particular have been doing a lot of extra hours just trying to make sure that chat continues to stay clear and spoilers are not posted. And I just want to give a, a great nod of appreciation to them. Two shotting the assassins. Love to see it. Love to see it. Let's take a peek. Um, Oilers Line 64 says, Hey Sean, I just want to shout out a thank you to Snuggly D for the gifted subs. Great to see a mass spec getting the recognition it deserves. Oh hell yeah, man. Snuggly D, our friend, uh, gifted a big surprise drop of gifted subs. And we were like, whoa! What happened? This company got acquired. We asked them a little bit about it. Described that it was a scientific tools company. Including a mass spectrometer. Or a mass spectroscoper. Spectros and a voscoper. Kadwa. Happy 107 months, Kadwa. They play Shishapia. I knew a mathlete such as yourself would pronounce Euler correctly. Eulers. Eulers. Euler's day off. Man, my cat is just having a she's been like an absolute meower lately. We're sort of surprised by it, to be honest. Oh, fuck. Off with you. Mom! I knew there were some goods here. Oh, you what? Oh, shit, there's a second one. Oh my god. We good? Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? This cat, she's just been like, meow, oh my god, meow, meow. Like, it's been weird, because she, she normally does not meow that much. I 
definitely gonna try to find a way to get up there, huh? It's good. In a way, it's good. In a way, I'm glad. Okay, I can actually probably tuck way back in the corner. In a way, I'm glad. In a way, it's good. You know, like, like Sheriff used to meow in the mornings and in the evenings. That's her time. She would meow at like five or six when she wanted food and snugs. But lately, it's been, like, a couple of times a day. She just, like, kicks up. She goes crazy in the coconut. me, I was scary. Oh. Ah! Ah! Turn on my little lantern. Here we go. Winging and smacking and whacking every which way and the other. Ah. Ah. I missed. Crumpled paper twin curses. I love the stream, so glad I'm able to give an awesome creator. Give to an awesome creator. Also, this is terrifying. Yeah. Dude, crumpled paper. This is. I'm glad it's not just me. Ugh. Native Legends says, I respect to try Thick Boy like you, but I immediately went back to Sorcery. I don't want to get close enough to smell the enemy. Yeah, it's a, it's a very different way of playing. Fear me. Figured it out. Scary shit, you know? Whew. <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man. Run! Ow! Oh fuck. Fuck, get up. Ugh. Ugh. Same path, the same asshole. Fuck. 
Oh, this fucking sucks. Get up, get the fuck up. Drink, have a drink. Roll, you fuck. Roll. 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 Drink. Drink. Roll. Ow, fuck. Drink. Roll. Roll. Ow, fuck. No, the alarm's going off. Oh, fuck. Turn the fuck off. Oh. Oh, climb the fucking thing. Oh, and I just fell down here. <laughs> oh. Oh, you can skip everything. This is incredible. I mean, that's incredible. I love it. All for that three beast blood. Yeah. I mean, it is a rare item. It has a nice purple shimmer. All right. One, one final, one final shout out for the day. For the day, one final shout out. Uh, I did this at the start of the stream, midway. Um, this is the last one I want to uh, bring up. Um, some of my buddies working on a game called Spellcraft just went into their. You can sign up to play in the alpha or the early access or the pre build or the whatever the heck people are using for their. Um, we're not yet launched, but we want you to play the game to make sure that we're making something that's good. Um, we have a link in the chat. You can go to that website there. You'll lose my tracking link, but I, I don't care. I got the chance to play the game. I actually, it's quite fun. I fully intend on playing it at launch. And uh, I encourage you to check it out, too. I encourage you to check it out, too. And as I said, since we're sending you beauty babies over there... All right. Since we're sending you over there, uh, the big goal that they have... What was that swing? The big goal they have is getting just data. Data, data, data. How long do you play before you put the game down? What are elements that seem to be resonating? What isn't? How long are you playing? You know, the, the usual sort of stuff. SB Television says, I'm actually super surprised Spellcraft wasn't taken. Yeah, I mean, it actually feels like you can't make a game unless there is a subtitle and a sub-subtitle. Unless there's 15 layers of that stuff. Spellcraft, colon, Battle of Heroes, colon, The League. <laughs> you know what I mean? But either way, I had quite a lot of fun the most recent time I played it. Um, I'd appreciate it if you check it out. And if you like it, you can just completely credit me. We'd like that. Is it free to sign up? Yeah. It should be, Nils Man. Should be, Nils Man. There's the other guy. Should be something you can just hop in, play for free. Uh, so instead of the usual, pay money to have an experience. It's it's kind of the expected. Hey, play for free so we can get information about whether our game is going to be good. To then transition into being a final product. You know, kind of like what Overwatch did, where they're like, "Hey, we're in beta." Even though Blizzard beta is kind of insanely polished. Hey, we're in beta. How are we doing? Doing good? And then later on, they sold it for some amount of money. Hold this up. Let's see where we're going. Nipa says, is it just me or does the website not do a very good job of explaining uh, what kind of game it is? It w that would not surprise me. I was even joking about this earlier, Nipa. I am, you know, normally when you're doing some sort of promotion, there's like, here's the do's and the don'ts, you know, like, hey, check out their competitor. <laughs> Things like that would be obvious don'ts. And typically the do's are talk about what the game is. Talk about how it works. You know, pretty much every developer wants their game to speak for itself. Um... Oh, is that how I climb up to the mountain, huh? Oh, dude, look at that. That's so sick. 
Um, but in this case, what they're really trying to do is get the playtesting experiential data. So they're like, don't explain how the game works. Don't share anything about it. I'm like, cool. <laughs> Makes my job incredibly easy. So that way you don't wind up with any incorrect expectations. Like, Let's imagine I said, it's a visual novel and the storytelling's amazing. And then you hopped into the game and it's, you know, Fortnite. You'd be like, oh, oh, right? That might influence your expectation. It's a visual novel and you hop in and it's fucking Elden Ring. You're like, oh, well, I was... I kind of had my hopes up for a visual novel and not another game like, you know, that was like Souls games. Oh, okay, okay. Whereas if you went in being like, it's a Souls game. From software, it's Elden Ring. But it's different. Much easier to play, etc. All right, we have little golden babies over here. I see, I see, I see how it is. Leroy Jang Cans. Phrase that they're using, not me, that they use is real time tactics. Real-time tactics, and that seems pretty both vague, but I think accurate. So there you go. Would you get off your horse? Sacramental bud, sac sacramental bud. Are they chewing on their friends? Sword. I love how level that sword is. Oh, they're crying. Are they crying? No, they're eating. They're eating. They're eating. You need to hear the sound effects. Sometimes when you're hungry, you're hungry. Let me go ahead and climb the tower. Give him the benefit of the doubt, always. I'm a big believer in giving the benefit of the doubt. You're not eating your friend, you're crying. Oh, you're... Oh, you're fucking eating. Okay. Beaten to death. Sensational. Oh, geez, that's gruesome. What, what did I pick up? I wasn't looking. I was looking at the beautiful view. Dude, I'm going up here. This is like such a tarnished move. Pulley bow. Yeah, yeah. I felt like I, I got something, even though I got nothing. That's known as the Polybo effect. Yeah? Yeah? Was that content? Did I just make some content happen? I made some content happen, friends. Ba -da 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 -da. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good here, huh? Quick little reset a over here. A little reset a in the pepperoni. Uh, yeah. Pop.
Excellent. Excellent. We're making content. We're making content, baby. Ah, bam. All right, and we're going up over here. Oh, nearly fell off. Ah, look at this guy. Look at this stunning pose. <laughs> Hi. So I want to do side to side swingies with this guy. Yeah, so it should be better, Talia Studios. Should be better. I'm assuming this is the way up the mountain. The way up the mountain. Dum, 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 dum. Rainbow stones lead the way to riches. I mean, that feels... Alright, let's come back to this later. I mean, that seems like some Miyazaki bullshit right there. Seems like some Miyazaki ass bullshit. That's what I think. So here is the journey up the bridge. I still haven't actually done this. This long little walk here. Miyazaki's trying to trick me, man. This guy's trying to do some bullshit to me. Mm. Coffee's done for the day. Mm -mm. <laughs> Smithing Stone 3, pathetic. We have 77,000. Hey, sweet, look at this ladder. Can I kick this ladder down? Wait, how the hell long is... What? No, how long has this fucking thing been here? How long has this thing been here? No way. Holy shit. Look at this. That I mean, I think that that's just been there. Give me this. Alright, what else is here? Give me this. Give me this. Give me this. Alright. Dude, look look at the views. Look at this view stone that's up here. Mmm. Oh no. Someone's dog stay oh my god, that's so sad. We took him out pretty immediately. So again, I'm interested by this idea that the way the game loads assets, it elevates things that are farther away. So that way it kind of creates this scooping, surrounding feel. Because, like, obviously you're going to load different assets if you're at different distances, right? There's these trees that are sort of peppered around that might not even be the same trees when you're nearby.
Tree's fucking hype. Oops. Man, my eyes are so dry sometimes. When I play this game, I just, like, don't blink. Let's take a peek over here. God, just look at the shaders on these rocks. That's some good... Like, this is a good-looking view right here. Holy shit. Whoops. So that's where that hero's grave is. That's what we just did. We owned some stuff pretty hard here. So there's this little ladder here. I gotta see this shit. Holy shit, it just connects. Alright, well, I'll come back to this place later. <laughs> Some serious shit went down, though, man. Everybody's sieging everybody everywhere at this point in time. Well, it's good that we've, we've found this bonfire, because I'm gonna follow those stones. I'm going to follow these stones. I'm going to follow these stones. I'm going to follow them. This is what we're going to do. Here it is. Court says, okay, I'm an idiot. How do you slide down the ladder? You hold the run button. Dude, whoever just was like, let's put wildlife in. Is just brilliant. Here's the Sea of Water River. Isn't it? No, that's the entrance up to the to the manor. Okay, so here's the collapsed bridge. Right? Yep, there it is. Uh, well. I mean this this literally feels like fucking some patches bullshit. I mean, I played Dark Souls well, 1. If you really are yes, I, I've played these games before. Are you kidding me? I've played this shit before. I've played these games before. I mean, at no other point. In stay away from the volcano manor. <laughs> this guy doesn't know I can just teleport. Bye now. Take care. Is it the same voice actor in all of them? All right, we're down here. Again. Back down here, so we just teleport. First Mount Gelmir, uh, first Mount Gelmir, uh, little thing, dude. Oh my god, oh my god, did I not call this with such precision? Oh, 
With such precision, I called this. My god! It's a moment. Well, I mean, honestly, if you've played the previous Souls games, it's just not that surprising. Right, like, literally rainbow stones and a message that's like, Oh, fucking free candy! I'm like, alright, well, this is... This seems out of place in the game, with one exception. to accept the free free goods. The logic seems kind of patchy. Oh, Craigsis. Let's go, Craigsis. <laughs> Leave me alone. I was having a snack. Let us fight. Two-handing? Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I like two-handing. Makes me feel big and strong. Skyrox, did you know a significant change to swing speed? I mean, it feels really good. I'm not gonna lie. It feels very, very nice. I don't know if that's accurate or if I'm making shit up. But, I mean, it feels great. I just walked off. Aurora Beam says, Patch's voice actor is William Vanderpew. He did the voice of Philip the Dog and Wallace and Gromit. <laughs> He's apparently the grandson of the head of Paramount. He has done every iteration of Patch's, man. Fuck yes. Dude, I love that. I love that shit. I mean, I, I loved it even before the change. Turning this one off. I like the mood. Lurin5450. Says, had a bad day today. Can I have some unwarranted boasting, overconfidence, and bragging? You mean, do you want me to do this on your behalf? Or do you want me to brag? Because, I mean, I can... I don't... As someone who feels... Oh, he's gone, that little twat. Someone who feels underqualified for bragging. I can do it. I can... I can make that change in myself for you. You want me to brag about me? Oh, it was a monument to vanity. I'm sure I can figure out a way to pull it off. I'm sorry you're having a rough day. I've had a rough few days, actually. I even had some of my friends remark, Man, you seem like a fucking foul mood. Yeah, some... Ah... Hey, it's a crab lar. Hey, buddy. I've been, I'm in a crabby mood. Uh, I'm just generally tired. Generally not in high spirits. 
a lot of stuff going on. Uh, and then, I was reminded that I haven't taken a single day off since the year began. And I've taken some Saturdays. So I should probably, I should probably not stream and not plan anything and not do anything. Have a nerd turd day. So, man, I, I know a thing or two about the uh, feeling crappy and bad and being like, can someone just pump me up? Oh, God. Magical Sazerac says, I'm going to go squalor goblin once I get my thesis defense. Dude. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But Lurin, dude, hit, hit me with it. Tell me what's going on, man. Dealer's choice. I just want some lols. <laughs> well, Lurin, if you're having a shit day and you want some lols, you don't need to wait too long. I will almost certainly throw myself off a cliff inadvertently sometime soon. Um, I don't know, some boasting, some bragging. I mean, here's the thing, Lurin. <laughs> let's talk about let's talk about bad days, shall we? I don't know about you, but when I'm having bad days or I'm in a bad mood, I want to do one of two things. One, interact with no fucking buddy at all. That's one thing I want to do. God, my eyes are so dry. I want to interact with no one. Or I want to, I want to, like, absolutely dip out of reality and, like, play Dota. And the only conversationing that I will have is Dota. That's it. I am and will forever be Dota. When I'm having bad days, man, I don't know about you, but what I tend to do, all right, all right, sweet. What I tend to do, like how I behave, I'm just a bummer. How are you? Fine. Whatever. Hey, hey. I <laughs> just always... Sean, you want to watch a movie? I don't know. Ugh. I got you something. Fine, I'll see it. What is it? Sneaky, sneaky. So when you play Dota, you seem at peace. Yeah, I actually get a lot of emotional reassurance from playing Dota because it's like my brain doesn't have any room for anything. You know, the truth is, a lot of times when I'm having bad times, bad days, I just need me time, man. I need to be me. I need to be alone. I need to be chill. You know what I'm really excited for? Is the reopening of some spas. I don't mean like your your traditional American spa. I like the spas where it's like some saunas and some cold pools and some hot tubs. And you can just cook. I love that. Love that. Oh, hey, guys. Shit. Oh, God. Buddy, some new, exciting, fantastical, and delicious restaurants. Oh, look at this. Look at this little fight going on. Multi armed bastards. Oh, my God. Learns like lost my job earlier and was chilling all wows and I was transphobic from someone who's immediately kicked out of the guilds. Now I'm not feeling safe in my relaxation game. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I hear that. I hear that. 
Yeah, where you're like, oh, I'm feeling sad. I don't want to do my escapism. Oh, guess my escapism is dangerous. <laughs> I actually struggled with that a lot when it came to uh, just good old-fashioned StarCraft, man. Because, you know, I, it was my step away. It was like my escape. It was... Sure, grant me strength. And then, you know, the daily started to blow up. All of a sudden, people were like, oh, excellent. I'm going to heckle this man. I'm going to tell him he sucks. Ha, ha, ha. And I'm like, all right, time to smurf. And even then, I would, like, get on a smurf account and lose and be like, maybe I do suck. <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I really am a piece of shit. Or, you know, it's hard It's hard to sort of shake those types of reactions and feelings. You know, it's not, not just a snap of the fingers. Or whenever someone... Dude, you know what literally makes me want to punch people in the face? Because then they're like, just ignore it. <laughs> oh, someone says something to hurt your feelings? I have great news for you. You should just ignore them. Because to me, what, what it feels like is it feels like they're saying, just be a completely different person who isn't bothered by that. Oh, you're... you're you're sharing with me that someone said something that hurt your feelings? Well, what if you just weren't someone who had your feelings hurt? Thoughts? What the fuck do you want me to do with that shit? Oh, welcome, dear customer. Yes, right this way. Right this way. Welcome, valued customer. Please, I'm hungry. I've been hungry for so long, I feel like I've set myself up in an optimum location. It's literally crazy to me that I'm unable to get any customers. Yeah, no, I hate that shit. No, learning what you're experiencing seems completely reasonable, you know? Where it's like, oh, you were just going and doing your fun thing, all of a sudden it was turned into an unfun thing. It's not like you can just turn that shit off. Yeah, no, just take a step away. You know, it will return. You'll get nice, lovely, fun, warm times, but you don't gotta rush it. You, don't gotta rush it. you can just step away for a little bit. It'll be fine. I feel like I'm going way high up and I don't want to be yet. Yeah. So, the reason to buy the stone sword key, I have a billion. I mean, I guess I should. Oh, I mean, I may as well clear out all these... These bastards of here just death. Yeah, I, I, I truly don't know why Just Ignore Them was ever a thing. I was bullied in, like, elementary school, middle school, high school, and... I was constantly, you need to ignore them. And you know what ignoring them did? Fucking nothing at all, and it was horrible. <laughs> That's it. it, did, it literally was just like, all right, well, it'll just suck now, and that's all there is to it. Holy shit, fuck. Yeah, no, I, I, I actually kind of like how much people are talking about, like, dude, this guy, he's just, he's a real, he's a real shitty bully at work. And before it was like, well, you know, you gotta learn to just deal with bullies and, you know, just get your work done and focus on that. No, I don't believe that shit at all. That needs to be dealt with ASAP. <laughs> just ignore him. Learn. Well, the good news is you're in a place where we know shit's hard to ignore. Where the fuck is this? Alright, my understanding of the layouts of things is different than what I thought. Yeah, you know, I will turn on my little thing. Oop, it was on. I'll turn it back on.
All right, so here's some wooded stuff. I'm gonna go not that way. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, somebody's going mad. Madness for me. Whack. What's that? I'm going to... Oh. Oh, hey, guys. I'll be going to PAX East this weekend. I will not. I don't want to go mad. Yeah, I'm, I'm still not quite at being ready to go to events, big ones. Okay, so this is this the bridge that I was seeing earlier. I think it is, and I, I mean, I see the bonfire there. You know, let's cross it, touch it, and pop back. Oh, this is one of those things where you can't. Holy shit, I'm supposed to go up from there? Huh. Ninth Mount Gelmir campsite. If there's nine of them and I missed the middle seven, jeez. So I think I see how these things connect. I mean, it looks like... I assume Mount Gelmir is somehow connected to these glintstone sorcerers. I assume, I assume, I presume, I presume. Right, so here's this guy. Yeah, I mean... I actually think FromSoft does a number of, like, techniques that you don't see as many people do nowadays because, you know, they have huge teams and artists that are accounting for little things like making sure that there's, like, no clipping with these animations and stuff like that. <laughs> and in this game, they're just like, all right, look, there's issues when you summon your horse on the bridge. I knew it. So we're just going to not let you summon your horse on the bridge, and that's it. That's all there is to it. Literally deleting that option from you. You do raise your arms and you become a thick boy. Hell yeah. And it's it's like a basic fix, you know? Assault on Volcano Manor. The squalid, the sick, the blasphemous. A wretched, unending war with no glory. Oh, shit. Despy, are you typing a message? Character limit of 500 reached. Despy, here. Let me... Quantum bits and bites. I started reading Uzumaki and I'm hating every second of it. 10 out of 10 manga would recommend. Mm-hmm. That's... That is Uzumaki for sure. Eye of Yellow. Eye of Yellow. 
Is there eyes? They have yellow eyes. Do you get it? Yellow? I don't know if I missed something up there or whether it was just like a lore tidbit. It's Despy's favorite letter. Um, the Typically the number one. She likes chewing specifically on the numpad one. Embarrassing. Dude, if I can get, like, a smithing stone 10. Oh, dude. Oh, I want that shit so bad. It's here. Yeah, Uzumaki is one of the greatest things I have ever read. I love Uzumaki. Oh, you're strong. You can handle two hits. Whoa, two hits are better than one, huh? What's over here? What? Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. All right. Volcano cave. Hey, dude, I'm like so big. I'm so huge. Level 130. 130. Hydric. I lost my orientation. Ah, we came from this large entrance. Alright, so here is the thing. Okay. So we enter into here. And there's a shitload of paths. Let's just take the rightmost path, shall we? So I don't quite want to drop down yet. Dude, I love this sword. Yeah, it's Min Min. I, I would say Uzumaki is pretty grisly. It's not as grisly as Ramina, though. Ramina is, like, fucking gruesome, man. Jesus. God, even thinking about that, I'm just like, ugh. Oh, I see. So this is. Nice yell, bro. Oh, shit. So we can go back around this way and loop to these upper areas of the cave. Is 
So this appeared to be one of the paths. Oh, shit. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Give me that cave, Moss. Slimslenny says, suggestions for other media that's similar to Uzumaki. Big fan, but don't know where else to look. Well, Jinji Ito has recently had a lot of his works translated. Uh, Censors, I recently read of his. That was great. There's the short story coll collections. Um, Shivers, Smashed, Love Sickness, which is a longer story with then some short stories there. There's also his works Tomi and Gyo. I mean, if you just look up Junji Ito, you'll find a lot of stuff that has been recently translated. But I'm, I'm just a huge, huge, huge fan of. Um, if you're looking for television... Always recommend the terror. Always, always, always recommend the terror. Did we hit him. The terror season one is is incredible. Oh, sick! What's this? Did I literally not hit any of them? Coil shield? That was sick. Yeah, the terror is sick. I'm trying to think of some other... Things that are like that. Would you make season two? I dropped off it. I wasn't that interested in it. Coil shield. Oh, interesting. Causes poison buildup. Oh, I look fucking stupid. <laughs> Ugh. Can you back off? Oh, shit. All right. Oh, yeah. What's its weapon art? I don't care, man. I'm not I'm not equipping that goof that goofy ass shield, man. Are you joking me? Jesus. Did you ever start berserk? Yeah, yeah. I have a uh, berserk literally on the coffee table. Healing. Flame on. All right, I did it. I'm enchanted. I have fought the demi human queen Margaret so many times. Holy shit, we are powerful. Jar cannon. Right in the kisser. Right in the kisser. Margot, Morgot, Margot. Seriously, nice names. I'm, 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 I'm here for it, Ghost Sagan. I'm here for it. I'm into it. If you think I give a damn, you're mistaken. I don't give a single damn. Because here's the thing. There's all this sort of nonsense namery in our in our language. There's Danny's and oh shit, that's not the fuck what I want to do. Danny's and Davies and Davids, Jerry's and Johns 
and Joseph's and Joe's, Timmy's and Tim's, Tanner's, all this, all this shit. I really want to watch a movie about a bunch of unnecessarily over-masculine men named Timmy, Tim, Tanner, Thomas, Tom. Just put them in there. I don't give a shit. You think I give a shit? I don't. I do not give a shit. Where is Majar Cannon? Ooh, it requires 34 strength. Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, I don't have any ammo. Ugh. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is it. This is some content right here. Ugh. What's, what's this for? You know what? I want this view to be starved. And driven by a horse. Oh, shit. Fuck. Full-grown Falling Star Beast. Clickety clickety. Ah, ow, ah. Oh shit, I thought I could outrun it. I guess I'm too big. I need to get my Naginata out. That's what happened. Turn this game down a little bit. Ooh. Oh. You know, let's make this easy on myself. Let's just let's just get this thing out. And then I actually think I'm gonna be a wise boy. I'm gonna chill for the rest of the day.
Holy shit, awesome. Oh. I think we die here. Oh, I'm I'm too good to die, man. So much more nimble with this thing out. I wonder what his. Very lucky I didn't accidentally die there. able to beat this. We might be a little low on resources. In which case, I will try on Thursday. Oh. That's even looming over me. Oh, yeah. Falling Star Beast Jaw. Hell yes. Woo, woo.
Mm, 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 mm. Where's my save point, huh? Woo. Yeah, I am probably going to call it in just a second here. The great ankle stab in day nine. I just, I kind of had a moment where, uh, what happened actually is that I had a heart palpitation. My heart went, do, 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 do. Which is generally just what happens when I'm overtired, overstressed. Uh, when that happened, I was like, oh. Oh, I'm going to stop. And I mean, I say palpitation. But I remember once upon a time, I, I went to a doctor. I was like, oh my god, there's something going on with my heart. Oh, fuck. What's happening? And the doctor was like, "No, your heart's actually fine. You're you're just you're just stressed." And I was like, "Oh, oh, okay." <laughs> so you know, things are good. Life is good. Things are grand. Life is grand. I, however, not been having the easiest time sleeping lately. Not the easiest time sleeping. And that added up with good old regular life stresses. Now, things like that can make a seemingly indestructible man like your pal Day9. Just need to take a day. So, I mean, we're not actually going to take a, a whole day. We're, we're probably going to take, like... Probably going to stop in, you know, a little sooner than, than normal. But, hunt, but like, you know, I, I think that what happened is... I mean, one of the reasons why I like playing Elden Ring, why I like playing Souls games, is that they are intense, baby. They are intense. You get that beautiful intensity. By the way, did I miss a bonfire up there by where the Falling Star Beast was? And I do actually want an answer for this. Because normally it always puts one there, but I assume. Didn't think so. I did, I did a quick scan of the area, but... Things that I, I find this sort of experience of walking around really just chill. It's really nice. There's a little bit of focus, but not really. And then, like, the boss comes up, and I'm like, okay, let's go into the focus zone. And I think my body was like, no, I don't want to focus. <laughs> I want to go to bed. I'm going to listen to that dear body. And while that fight was happening, you saw me stop, and I was like, ugh. And then I, I realized that my audio was so loud. And I was like, Jesus. What's the new weapon? This is my Ruins Greatsword. Oh, the, um, the Fang. What kind of weapon is that? Screw it, I'll just do it like this. Falling Star Beast Jaw, and I need... Oh, I'm, I'm too dumb to wear this. I love when the sky purples in this area. I think it is so sick. I'm going to the entrance of this place. This is going to be the perfect thing to look forward to. Line them up. All right, all right, all right, all right. I want to say this is the third one that I have. Sixth? All right. <laughs> Not been keeping track at all in the slightest. Oh, my God. Okay, just... 
plummet onto it. Dude, we're so close. We're so close. What's... Oops. So we're at 110.8. I think that, like, literally two more points. Divided by 0.7. Oh, 158.2. We're at 157.3. Oh my god, yes! Oh, we're about to be able to get medium rolls with this fucking build. <laughs> Until then, let's get this. Slow healing and the damage resistance one. I might not even stick with it, but I don't know, it's fun to go for. Not like I care particularly much. Oh, my friend. A mere thousand. Dude, Psychic Sweat, I've watched all the ASL games. The only thing I haven't watched is the third, fourth place match. Because I've watched two of them. Alright. Finally close to the map. Yeah. We're gonna get to that map and then we're gonna end it. Hell yeah. Throw and throw. Look at this huge ass castle, dude. Look at this. down here. Oh, shit, that's, that, that's a ways down. Alright, let's make our way. Can't wait. I love maps. I love maps. Maps are awesome. Let's look out for the fingers. Oh my gosh, we're actually going to get to do this. We're actually going to get to do this. Oh, I cannot wait. the little hands overseeing things. Yeah, I actually just didn't do this fort at all. I didn't understand that this was a fort that I could do. Okay, we'll put a little, we'll put all our little silly turtle looking thing in there. Eat these hands. Oh, dude, I'm all about them. I'm all about these hands. I love these hands. Curious, what do you what do you guys do if you want to chill? When you're in the mood to have a nice chill night, I'm gonna have myself a chill evening. It's the only thing that tonight is gonna be is chill, 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 chill.
As Maria says, I would love the Elden Ring map was a merchandise item at some point. Dude, I'm going to get that shit printed out no matter what. No matter what. There's this amazing, like, ultra high def, ultra rich map someone made where they just stitched together screenshots. Shauna hang out and watch you. <laughs> and I'm sitting here just like, oh my god, my fucking heart. <laughs> Fuck. Demidius Aurelian says, Sean, I built my first PC and I'm super happy about it. Well, fuck yeah, man. Dude, isn't building your own PC, like, really satisfying? And all the pieces thunk together. looked up and I was like, oh shit, it's way the fuck up there. Oh, gosh. Oh my god, yeah, this is where I go and I can look at these various areas. So let's see, I, I wandered through this area. I worked my way up here. To the Hermit Village, and here's where that boss fight was. And I crossed over to here. Here's the hero's grave. Yeah, here's the watchtower. Here's the first place. There's the ruin. Right, so I crossed over to here. Here, huh? Here's the guy's oh, you help me. So this is where I scaled way up and way up. So there's the volcano cave that's up at this peak here. Cross this and bounce to this guy, huh? So maybe there's actually a path. Seedwater River. I wonder how I get up to here. Over to this place. I think I know where I'm supposed to go, though. Holy shit, this is fucking awesome. Lord Rykard, this putrid field of death is what your blasphemy would bring. I can no longer abide. No one can. Uh-oh. -uh. Well, looks like somebody fucked up. Oh, I see. So this is the tunnel under to here. And this is what leads to the Great Bridge. Awesome. Okay, that's a little close for comfort. Well, this is where we're going to end it today, and we are going to explore forward this way, and then loop our way back around to the entrance of the Volcano Manor. We also need to go ahead and put a little turtle. Holy shit. Oh, 